Hey everybody. In this video, I wanted to discuss if you have a voltage divider, but then this time powering something. So when you have a load attached. So for example, let's say you have a 10 volt supply, but then I have some device here and I want to give it 5 volts. So this object has some internal resistance which is some load. Right, so I want to I don't want to give this thing 10 volts. I want to give it 5 volts. So I could make a voltage divider like this, right? And then let's say I just pick 100 ohms and 100 ohms. Right, so now this is 5 volts, this is 5 volts. So now I can take this and give this load 5 volts. But is it really 5 volts? So what happens is by attaching the load, I basically screwed up my voltage divider. Right, because look, look at these two. These are in parallel now. Let me just redraw it. Right, 10 volts looks more like this now. Right, this is my 100 ohm, this was 100 ohm, and this was whatever's, that is not zero, or not infinity, sorry. As soon as you connect two resistors in parallel, what happens? When you put resistors in series, the equivalent resistance is more, right, because you add them together. When you put two resistors in parallel, the equivalent resistance is less. So I guarantee you, these two in parallel, right, the equivalent resistance here is for sure less than 100, right, because this one is 100. So then it, these two in parallel got to be less than 100. So what does that do, right? How much current did I have originally here, right? This is 10 volts. These two in series is 200 ohms in series, right? So the current here, this current has got to be 10 over 200, right? So 50 milliamps. Okay, 50 milliamps. But then what happens here? Right, how much current is here now? Because the equivalent resistance here, it was 200. The equivalent resistance here is for sure less than 200. Right? Because 100 plus 100, 100 plus something less than 100. So the equivalent resistance for the entire thing, all of this, is now less than 200. So that means this current is more. Right? The current here is more than 50 milliamps. Right? So by attaching the load, I'm increasing the amount of current I'm drawing from the voltage source and I kind of screwed up the whole voltage divider because we don't know if this is 5 volts anymore. Okay, let's put some numbers. Let's say, just to kind of quantify things, Right, let's say that's a hundred. That's a hundred. And I attach it to something that is uh, a thousand, a kilo ohm. Okay, what's gonna happen? 
what is this equivalent resistance? It's 1 over 100 plus 1 over 1,000, and then take the reciprocal of that. Right, so this is like 10 over 1,000 plus 1 over 1,000, so 11 over 1,000, and then reciprocal. So let me punch that in the calculator. Okay, so then that would be... ninety point nine. I'll just write ninety one. Right, so just by connecting the load, look, it's different already, right? Now how much current is here? Used to be fifty. Now what is it? So the current is V over R, which is these two in series, 191. All right, so that is, let me punch in the calculator, 524. Okay, so it used to be 50 milliamps. Now we're drawing 52 milliamps, right? So we're drawing more current. So now how much voltage is here and how much voltage is here? So V1 is IR, right? So cool. times 100 equals, and then just move the decimal, right? So 5.24. And then how much across the other one, here, across that load, let's just say across the load, is the leftover, right? 10 minus 5.24, so 4.76 volts, right? We were expecting 5, but just by connecting the load, it screwed everything up. It pulled more current through the circuit, and we're only getting 4.76 volts, not 5 volts. Okay. And then the next step is how much power. And so I'll leave that to you and I'll compute the power for resistor 1. The power for resistor 2. The power drawn by the load resistor. And then you have to look at these to make sure things aren't going to burn because we're pulling more current now. Right, so you have to watch all of these things. Okay, interesting, right? Okay, I'll see you on the next video.